Okay, so thank you all for joining in yet another webinar. Today we'll be jumping in details about real-time data, which is always an interesting topic, and exploring some streaming analytics. So yeah, let's jump into it. Actually, in today's fast pace like digital landscape, real-time streaming has become like must-have for all this business, seeking to gain some more actionable insights and making informed decisions on like those split seconds. So as and when the, the pace in which the data is getting generated and consumed in today's world is like nothing short from like there's IoT devices, there is like uh, supply chain information and also like social feeds. But in order to truly harness all this true value of data, we need more than just traditional analytics. We need something more like a real-time insights that empower us to act and take actionable insights on it. So yeah, so let's proceed and let's talk more about it. Little bit about myself. I'm a senior product manager here in Double Cloud. I'm responsible for the products and feature releases here in Double Cloud. So go ahead. So as we see, like the ask for real-time analytics has been like a game changer for businesses. They allow us to optimize operations on fly, personalize user experience in real time, also like detect anomalies and also like as and when they occur. Because the, the data has been evolving so fast, like all this feeds that's coming in from, as I mentioned earlier, like online purchases, IoT streams, and taking some business insights, actions on it. So it's really, really an ask, and everyone needs information at fingertips instantly. So I think real-time analytics is actually empowering businesses to take this actionable insights and to be on the edge. So, but having said that, however, the great, the potential comes, there's always like great challenges. These challenges range from like ensuring like data accuracy, consistency to manage scalability, latency, and also need for some innovative solutions to process the data. Share. So like in the challenge one, it could be like more on like data volume and velocity. So imagine like uh, the immense volume of data being generated every second across the globe from social media interaction, sensor reading, some database streams. This sheer volume can actually quickly become overwhelming and it's just not about the amount of data it's all about like what speed this data is generated so that's kind of like a challenge that's quite commonly seen across this real-time data streaming and as and when like um, the data is increasing that increases the chance of data quality so data quality and consistency are like again paramount when dealing with data stream so it, the real-time data streams can be coming from different formats, different channels like social media, IoT, streams, sensor exercise, etc. So which can lead to inconsistencies and errors. It is crucial to have like this data accurate and consistency so that on downstream, there won't be any ripple effects uh, on the downstream data processing which happen after this real-time part. And the third thing is more about like in real-time, minimizing latency is critical so like delayed insights can lead into like missed opportunities imagine like a crucial sensor uh, which is which which failed to send this information with with just few minutes there can be like catastrophic disaster that could happen because of the sensor data that's delayed to send this information so essentially in this industries like uh, where the time sensitive actions are required it's really really crucial to have this latencies in like split seconds to microseconds. And last is the scalability. So as and when the data volume continues to grow, it's essential to have all the systems that can scale seamlessly. By scalability means like ability to handle increasing data loads without compromising performance. Because you need to kind of balance here because there's huge volume of data that's flowing in, but all, at, at the same time, it has to be more faster way. So in order to overcome this business, uh, sorry, in order to overcome these challenges, business can leverage some data streaming platforms, such as also Double Cloud, which provides like a range of features and capabilities to process streaming data efficiently. So the business can continuously collect and process data in real time, and they can just focus on deriving the value out of it rather than building this huge data ecosystem of data pipelines, streamings, and stuff like that. Having said that, we'll explore the reasoning behind harnessing the power of Kafka to foster deployments of advanced streaming analytics. So is Kafka good for real-time data? Of course, Kafka is widely recognized as excellent choice for real-time analytics. 
due to its unique features such as like the challenges what we talked about in earlier is actually kind of like the unique features what we see here in Kafka like low latency scalability fault, fault tolerance so the, the Kafka ensures like the minimum delay in processing the high throughput of data stream facilitating timely insights and actions based on real time data and also scalability like with its distributed architecture the Kafka scales horizontally and, and handle large volume of data and increasing workloads associated to real time streaming so as you can see in this image like you can see like kafka being an extender piece and all this information from different data sources or channels are process processed through kafka in real time fashion and depending on that it can be like you can plug into different data stores or your olap data stores and build some beautiful analytics real time analytics on top of it and also kafka offers like various integrations and pop popular uh, inbuilt integrations or part of Kafka protocol itself. So with which it makes it more easy to connect to all these different data sources. So having said that, like now we are seeing like one part of uh, the te technology where we are just receiving all the streams and processing it. But how about like, like where do, where do all this information get stored in like in this fast way? And also is there a way where you can query this data out in a much more quicker and most fast way? Like right now we see like, okay, the data has been flowing from all these different channels, websites, click streams, microservices, whatnot. But uh, like I, our traditional data warehouses doesn't really support this kind of way where you can just query all this information in like sub-second latency. So what is the sol solution that we have? So we have like ClickHouse. Why choose ClickHouse? ClickHouse can like, it's it's like the top-notch tool for real-time analytics, like offering like remarkable performance in terms of functionality. It's ability to swiftly process queries and also has a great compression uh, compression capabilities, which has indexing, in, in indexing capabilities. So which makes it more faster for uh, query optimizations and also like to build right queries on it. You can see like on the right hand side of this image, you can see like the conventional analytical databases and also like real time databases. There's also been like a, a trend that's seen like customers are like all, trying to offload this workload from the traditional uh, analytical, traditional data warehouses to analytical data warehouse where they specifically need the faster querying speed. So imagine like uh, you need to you have like a transaction database and other side you have this OLAP database where I wanted to specifically use it for real-time analytical processing. So imagine you send all your queries from Kafka or any other queuing mechanism to ClickHouse and build queries on top of ClickHouse, which it makes it more faster and reduces your query latency at a drastic amount. So that's kind of the use case. I've seen some customers, uh, there are some couple of use cases that are seen mainly among customers in that aspect. Like for example, like a real-time dashboard, real-time dashboarding and reporting, anomaly detection, alerting, fraud detection. So these are like a couple of common examples that are seen in uh, among customers. So like imagine like the streams, it, it's kind of crucial depending on the data that's coming from different sources, like on Kafka topics. And you wanted to build some customer 360 degree information or like all the financial transaction data has been kind of flowing in a in a in a topic, and you want to do some analysis on top of it. So in that case, what you actually need is more like faster processing, and also like also the faster querying capabilities. So for faster ingestion, obviously Kafka is really like top notch too. And in order for the top notch querying capabilities, like you need something like a ClickHouse tool to retrieve all this data out of this uh, information and to build like beautiful analytical dashboards, et cetera on it. So here are some of the use cases that is seen and uh, let's move on to the next slide. So yeah, why are we talking about all this now? With all these challenges and like the use case what we talked about, it's quite easily possible to do it in Double Cloud. So there is like less management for your customers to build all this with effort, lessly can just manage and uh, build beautiful real-time analytical dashboards. So we have the transfer service, which helps to pull data from different sources, be it data warehouse, APIs, and also like Kafka streams, and basically transform and push it to ClickHouse, not just 
you cannot bring your own ClickHouse clusters, but also we have our own managed ClickHouse cluster with which it makes it more easy. Like you have all your uh, workloads in one single uh, place. And also we offer like managed uh, Kafka clusters with which it again makes it more easy. Like if you wanted to build some more uh, real-time processing using Kafka. And last is like visualization tool. That's like all like the cherry on the pie. That's like you build all these pipelines, beautiful pipelines, and put it in like different managed data warehouse like Kafka or ClickHouse. And then you can use a free visualization tool to visualize all this data in real time fashion. So that, that's kind of like within Double Cloud, we offer all these services as in like a uh, individual components. So right from transfer, managed clusters, within clusters, we have like ClickHouse and Kafka and visualization. So all within few clicks, you'll be able to deploy them and it will be ready to go. So now that we have seen like some of the common use cases and also like how double cloud architecture is and how it can help customers to solve the problem, but are there any real customer use cases? Yes, so there are real time use cases uh, from our double cloud customers. Yango Delhi or Yango Tech actually launched, they started using uh, double cloud and they launched like real time analytics. With, with they, they, they kind of got the value out of it by minimizing the time to market. So they are an e-commerce company and uh, like data was updated with time delay. <clears throat> they were having, having issues, the time delay because it was designed for batch processing and the replication of data in real time was necessary for making like quality operational decisions. So they could not analyze and aggregate all this information. So these were like kind of the challenges what they had. So solution based on double cloud turned out to be like not just 20% cheaper than previous one. Although the, the performance was also like really fast. Uh, the speed of launching analytics was like key factor. Like also as they were able to just spin these things up in like a couple of weeks to start it off with just building dashboard. So so as I said, like within Double Cloud, you can just all use it within like few clicks and it should be ready to go. And let's look into another example. Yeah, Beast Tested is like a game testing uh, platform where you can analyze, Beast Testing analyzes millions of gamers uh, pattern and also it's used for like testing too. So as we think of all these games and uh, like click streams, you can imagine like the amount of data that's flowing through all this information from like every single frame of video that every player games and also like uh, to ensure like all the statistics of users to making sure like all the frame of data is stored per video and per user session. So they had this need for all this faster analytics on top of it. So with Double Cloud, they were able to, with ClickHouse cluster, they managed to make it more, no manual intervention needed because Double Cloud has helped them in managing all these ClickHouse clusters and also saving them from creating all this embedded analytics directly from uh, uh, other sources. So it becomes very easy with the visualization tool that you can just also enable it for embedding capabilities. You can also embed it within your own internal tooling or internal web pages. Another specific use case is Pagali and uh, Loja Granda. So this one is again like a, a very good use case where they kind of offloaded some of the workloads from Postgres and also to making it's for financial fraud detection. So they had like huge volume of data and it, it tried to increase the performance at like very top notch speed. And also not just the performance, also the platform itself, like within Double Cloud, also made like cheaper for them. So yeah, that was kind of a really, really kind of use case. So yes, so as we talk about like all this real-time streaming, there are customers who are adapting to this different, different use cases. And also, as you can see, as we talked about a couple of use cases among Double Cloud itself, like there are a couple of use cases, as you can see. You can look into our websites, read our customer user stories to get more details about the architecture and uh, what are the approaches that it took. And you can also read some more testimonials from the specific uh, customer itself to get more details about the use case. And uh, meanwhile, if you have any other use cases or specific your real-time needs or not uh, Kafka or ClickHouse clusters, please reach out to us and we'll be definitely able to help you. And you can scan this QR code and you can join our LinkedIn or you can also scan this QR code to generate a contact us page and we'll be able to help you. So 
Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, until see you next time.